All right, the Houdat Nation is frustrated to say the least and demanding change after another disappointing loss, this time at home to the Lions. They fell 33-28, the black and gold just 5-7 and seven overall. Sports anchor Sharif Ishak has the very latest on the team's third straight loss. Let's not kid ourselves, another sluggish start for the Saints offense, but then Derek Carr started to get the ball rolling in the third quarter. Then in the fourth quarter, Bruce Irvin drove him into the ground, knocked him out of the ball game. Third time this season, Carr has been knocked out of the game. He is in the concussion protocol for the second time. So, should Dennis Allen go to Jameis Winston since Carr has been dealing with all these injuries, kind of like last season when Winston couldn't play because of his injury? They're totally different situations, all right? We're not getting into what we did last year, what we're doing this year, all right? Um, look, Derek's in the concussion protocol right now, so uh, we'll evaluate that as we go. Obviously, with injuries, you, you, you certainly got to uh, pay attention to that, um, but I'm not getting into the, the business of we're going to compare things from one year to the next. The next thing the Saints need to do is actually play a complete game. They showed some fight after trailing 21 zip. They went 4-for-4 four four in the red zone one week after going 0-for-5, but it's the slow starts hurting this team, the defense dealing with it for the sixth time this season. I thought early on, man, like we were just, I don't know what it was, I don't know what word to use, but, um, you know, we weren't ready. And so, uh, you know, obviously poor tackling, uh, you know, miscommunication, all the things that haunt defenses, uh, I think that kind of showed up you know, in the first couple drives. What's haunted Tyron Matthew and that Saints defense at times this season? Tight ends from TJ Hawkinson to Cole Komet. And in this game, it was rookie tight end Sam Laporta who caught all nine targets for 140 yards. He's going to be a good player. I told him after the game. Um, just crafty for a rookie, man. Uh, the kind of routes he run, uh, you know, his frame, you know, his length. I thought he probably had two of the more clutch plays you know, in this game. So uh, it, was, it was a few third downs in there where we had everybody covered. And then, you know, he just put the ball on his body. I did get a chance to tell him that, you know, he's doing a good job. And I told um, Golf that he made a, a hell of a play that last play. So, um, but yeah, I think he's going to be special in the future. The Superdome is a special place to play, but not of late. Lions fans filled the dome while the loyal Houdat Nation who watched that loss made it rain loud boos at times. I ain't hear it, but I know they're frustrated um, as well as we are. But you know, it's kind of it's definitely it's definitely not a good feeling that that's what's happening out there. Obviously, we have to play better, right? We got to get them something to cheer for. Uh, we got to give them something to be proud of, and so uh, I think that responsibility, you know, falls on us. The Saints only have five games to give their fans something to cheer for. So yeah. Time is definitely running out on a team that's lost five one-score games. It's been a tough year, you know, to to lose, uh, you know, s some of these games that we've lost the way that we've lost them. Um, but, you know, as, as we've talked about, I haven't seen anyone flinch. Really, this next month, man, is I think it's going to be a big test uh, for us. It'll be a big challenge um, to see what kind of character uh, that we have. So um, you know, obviously it's not over, you know, by, by any sense. But there, there, there is a sense of urgency to, you know, put together a good game. Look, nothing positive comes out of being doom and gloom. You know, like obviously you got to make the corrections that need to be made, all right? And then you've got to try to accentuate the positives and you got to try to minimize the negatives. That's what that's what you have to be able to do. So among all the active head coaches in the NFL, Dennis Allen has the worst win-loss percentage at just under 31%. He is now 20 and 45 as a head coach. In the Superdome, Sharif Ishak, WDSU News.